Okay, so in this video, I'm going to look at the task one of Muad writing. So task one is to respond to an email or a letter. There are six things you as the candidate that you need to do, which are opening, express feelings, describe situation, provide opinions, offer suggestions, and closing. These are the six things, the six elements that should be present in your task one. So let's start off with opening. So the opening must address the correct person you're writing to. You need to mention the recipient's name explicitly. So for example, the name of the recipient is Hi Joseph. So you write Hi Joseph. Make sure the spelling is right. Do not spell something else. Okay, next up, um, express feelings. So uh, there will be moments in your writing where you'll be, you will need to express feelings. Um, so here are some suggestions that you can use. You can use positive feelings, negative feelings, and here are some uh, good examples. For example, thrill, uh, excited. Um, a simple one would be thrilled. A uh, much more better one would be stoked. Or a more proficient user would use like, I'm really looking forward. Okay, but this, of course, in the future. Um, as for negative feelings, again, here are some options. If you're sick, you can say unwell, under the weather, or feeling down in the dumps. If you're sad, you can say depressed miserable or quite grief stricken if you're feeling nervous you can use not feeling good losing sleep over this or i'm at my wits end so situations there are different type of situations that you'll be that will be presented in your task one it could be a physical event a recollection a presentation or a scene so here are some words that you can use to describe the situation it could be an activity an event or an occasion uh, it could be a time, it could be a memory or an experience. If it's a presentation, like a traditional dance performance or a, or a traditional dance show. If it's a scene, you can say episode, scenario in, or incident. Okay, so again, here are some vocabulary to help you. For a happy situation, you can use delightful, memorable or captivating. Captivating also somehow also involves feeling a sense of excitement. Uh, for exciting, you can use enjoyable, engaging, astonishing. For a boring situation, boring, dull, uninteresting. Uh, for a stressful situation, you can use uneventful, forgettable, or just poorly organized. So you could say like it was a poorly organized trip because uh, we were late for all of our events, something like this. And also enlightening. For opinions, again, here are some words you can use, like I believe, I think, if you ask me, it seems to be that, in my point of view, from my perspective, right? And for offering suggestions, you can say you ought to, or you can just go for very simply, you should, you might want to, why don't you consider, I would suggest that, uh, or you can say it might be a good idea for you to consider or you could just say, perhaps you should consider the uh, the benefits of what? Or you could just use another word here. For closing, again, here are some good examples you can use. Instead of write soon, you can also say, feel free to contact me if you need any additional help or information. So again, these are all, these are the six things, six elements that you need when conducting your MUET writing for task one. So I wish you the best and good luck.